Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Nikki Haley wants you to know that calling illegal immigrants criminals is very disrespectful. Of course, we do refer to her as bird brain. We also do refer to her as Beijing Nikki, darling Nikki. Now, Mr. Forty Five, Donald J. Trump disagrees with Nikki. Keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life too. They have kids too. They have a heart too. They so we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life. And they're we will begin removing the more than two million criminal illegal immigrants from the country. Of some illegal immigrants committing murder and rape even though darling Nikki says that they're not criminals. There's a case was in California. 64-year-old woman was sleeping in her home. Illegal breaks in her house, strangles her, beats her with a hammer. But I'm sure Nikki Haley doesn't consider them as criminals. Santa Maria, California, say a man who was in the country illegally is now charged along with another suspect in the rape and deadly attack of a 64-year-old woman. As Chris Martinez reports... Marilyn Ferris was home alone asleep when police say she was sexually assaulted, strangled, and beaten in the head with a hammer. She died a week later. One of her alleged attackers is 29-year-old Victor Martinez Ramirez, in the U.S. illegally, in trouble previously with the law. Martinez Ramirez was arrested six times in the last 15 months. In May of last year, he was charged with felony assault with intent to commit sexual assault. Officials would not say why those charges were downgraded to misdemeanor battery. More, he was a lot of more clips of illegals breaking the law, and they got more of Nikki Haley and Sir Donald Trump. But before we get to that, I want to give some thanks to a couple of people. Augustine Villa Jr. says Tejanos for Trump. Gave us $10. Hit us up on our cash app. I appreciate you, Austin Villa Jr. Also, Claudette Hansen, a.k.a. the feminine one, gave us $25 on our cash app. Says, preach 100. Dixie L. George gave us $15 on our cash app. She said, God bless you, E.T. And clever is tone deaf. <laughs> also, my man Craig... Jimerson hit us up for twenty dollars on our cash app. Says, "Stay on them, Doc." And the Marine, Big Boy Howard, hit us up for ten dollars on our PayPal. Appreciate you, Howard. And Kathy Tully gave us fifty dollars on our PayPal. God bless you, Kathy Tully. Hope you and your family are well, and thank you for that donation. And Maria Live say, hit us up for thirty dollars. On PayPal while we were live last night. God bless you, Maria, or should I say M Live Say. God bless you and stay strong. Now let's get back to Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley says illegals are not criminals, but Trump di disagrees with her. She also says it's disrespectful. Now you remember when Donald Trump, I like the way he talks. Trump says immigrants, these illegal immigrants, are poisoning the blood. Of our country. But let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life too. They have kids too. They have a heart too. They So we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life and they're desperate you know, to when get they let, I think the real number is 15, 16 million people into our country when they do that. We got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America. Not just Deport all criminal aliens and dismantle every last criminal gang and cartel threatening our citizens. Yeah, you can say they're not criminals and it's disrespectful. Do you remember there was a case in San Francisco where the illegal kept getting out of jail, ended up shooting and killing a young lady walking with her father? Do you also remember the illegal immigrant who murdered his co-worker and they only gave him nine years, but they're not criminals. 
outrage. The man accused of killing Catherine Steinle had been deported five times and had been arrested again before the murder, but was still not turned over to immigration authorities. The immigrant has been sentenced to nine years in prison for murder. Jose Dominguez pleaded no contest to the 2018 killing of his co-worker, 46-year-old Luciano Cifuentes, and also another immigrant. This all happened at a Roswell area ranch. So when Nikki Haley says they're not criminals, why don't you speak to the mother whose 20-year-old daughter was slaughtered by a damn illegal immigrant? We don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life, and they're desperate to get here. The worst news that a parent doesn't want to hear, that my newly 20-year-old 20, 20 daughter, Kayla Hamilton, was murdered in her own room and left on the floor like trash. She, she left behind a mother who loved her, a stepfather, a brother, a younger sister, grandparents, and lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins. At first, we knew very little details of the murder until an arrest was made. The details we learned broke us. At the end of March of 2022, Kayla's murderer was apprehended by Border Patrol crossing illegally into the U.S. at the southwest border in Rio Grande City, Texas. Drug dealers, gang heads, gang members, killers, and dismantle every last criminal gang and cartel. And let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life, too. They have kids, too. They have a heart, too. They, so we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life, and they're desperate to get here. In June, a mother of four named Cecilia Bravo Cabrera went missing. Well, now authorities have charged her illegal immigrant husband and apparent bigamist, Francisco uh, Valdivia, with her murder, along with his other wife, Rosalina Lopez, also an illegal immigrant. She's charged as an accessory after the fact. An 18-year-old illegal immigrant on a rape charge in Hicksville, Ohio, made his first appearance in court today. Clementino Kojuk, who had been living in the village of Hicksville, faces one count of felony rape. Earlier this month, several agencies began a sexual assault investigation. Police later arrested the suspect. Details about the investigation have not been Is released. Is tone and communication matters, and people matter, and we don't ever need to talk about this in a cold-hearted way. Um, we are going to stop drugs from pouring into your communities and poisoning our youth and everybody else. A Trump administration will end this nightmare of violence and end it quickly. It will be, from now on, America first. Too, they, so we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life, and they're desperate to get here. Did you know the White House usually does not weigh in on local crimes, but the alleged rape, sodomy, and sexual assault of a Maryland high school teenager in the high school's boys' bathroom, allegedly at the hands of two classmates, is making national headlines. One of the suspects confirmed to be an illegal immigrant here is a sea man could spend the rest of his life in prison after his second conviction now for child rape in two years. Disturbing story. The Murray County DA says Juan Abrego Chavez is an illegal alien. News Force Rebecca Cardenas picks up the story. It started in 2016 after a child exposed this man to her parents. It wasn't long before the Murray County DA's office discovered she was one of several of Juan Abrego Chavez's victims. I would almost bet my paycheck. There are other victims out there. Abrego Chavez is an illegal alien. He's been in the U.S. since 2002, living in Texas, Florida, and New York before Tennessee. The problem with people like Nikki Haley is that what they don't understand is that not all illegals are criminals. But why would we take a chance? We got enough damn criminals over here. We don't need to be importing more criminals. And plus, are we forgetting the fact that we're broke? So... Even if only 5% are criminals, why is it our responsibility as taxpayers? When did we hire the Nikki Haley's, the Lindsey Graham's, the Joe Biden's? When did we hire them and says, what we really want when you're running for office is to make sure you bring more illegal immigrants over here. We don't care if they're country or shitholes. We don't care. We can't afford to have you over here 
and if only five or ten percent are criminals, are you willing to let your one of your loved ones get raped? Are you willing to let one of your loved ones die at the hands of illegal immigrants? And we see it all time and time again. So we don't care what Nikki Haley says. So when Nikki Haley is saying they're coming over here for a better life, won't she remember the young lady? A couple of young ladies were put off into a home by another woman who had all of these illegals in there, five grown men who wanted to assault these young ladies. Ask Nikki Haley what she thinks about that. Does that make them criminal? Let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life too. They have kids too. They have a heart too. They So we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're family. The complaint says the girl also had a rope tied around her neck and wrists. And the girl told investigators that two other girls were also tied up next to her. And quote, four Mexican men were in the room with them. According to court records, the girl says the men sexually assaulted her. And a physical examination showed several injuries on the lower half of her body. The girl told investigators she escaped after one of the other girls untied her, adding that the girl was then punished for it, with one of the men throwing her down the stairs. The complaint shows the 11-year-old girl gave investigators a detailed description of one of the men and the outside of the house. Police used that information to track down and arrest Oscar Luna. At the home, Bemidji police say they found 11 other men who have since been transported by U.S. Border Patrol to be processed as illegal immigrants. Bemidji police say it's an ongoing investigation. Luna is scheduled to appear in court on October 9th. You know, there's another little dirty fact that the Nikki Haley's and these globalists don't quite get. We're spending a lot of money, first of all, to take care of when they get here. Feed them, clothe them, school them, the whole nine yards. And they're trashing the damn cities. Have you seen how these cities look now? How these cities have been trashed because of illegal immigrants? Look what the hell they did to New York if they weren't tra- if the liberals weren't trashing it enough. Now Donald Trump says something different on the campaign trail this time. And I hope he does this when he gets back in office. He says we are going to defund and stop giving money to any so-called sanctuary city. It should be against the law to even have a damn sanctuary city. A Trump administration will cancel all federal funding to sanctuary cities. We will cancel all federal funding to sanctuary cities. When they come in once, we deport them. When they come in twice, they go to jail for five years. When they come in another one, it'll be 10 years. And you know what's going to happen? Sort of pretty simple. They hear they get caught again. They go to jail for five years. Guess what's going to happen? They're not coming back, folks. I want you to sing this along with me. I knew a little girl named Nikki. I guess you can say she was the donor fiend. Met her in South Carolina. She's a bird brain of Beijing. I knew a little girl named Nikki. Guess you can say she was the donor fiend. I met her in South Carolina. She's bird brain of Beijing. She said, how'd you like to wait some time? And I could not resist when Licky started to lie. But let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life too. They have kids too. They have a heart too. They So we don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families. That want- um, so that they could have a hearing before an immigration judge um, instead of detaining them and using a prompt deportation process, an accelerated process that the law provides. Instead, the administration says, no, we'll let you have a hearing before an immigration judge and you can wait and they're let out on bond. And we want people, we want people to come into our country. We really do. We want them to come into our country, but they have to come in through a system and they have to come in legally.